In this video the question is where is the transistor made? It's a little bit ironical but also serious. Um, I used the BC547B many times in all my circuits and um, you can buy them from many manufacturers and also from unknown manufacturers. So this is a BC547B that I have bought from an unknown manufacturer. I don't know where it's made and where it comes from. Normally I always use the transistors from Fairchild or from Motorola. They are very, very well. And from Philips also have very good properties, are very reliable. And this makes sense when you do experiments and when you want to study circuits and electronic circuits on the longer term, how they function. This unknown transistor, uh, I've tested it and I found that the current amplification or beta is 450. So that's quite high. And now we can say that we have a perfect transistor, but uh, I don't think that's a good approach. This transistor, uh, this transistor properties are uh, not reliable in my opinion. The amplification is too high compared to the normal transistors from uh, reliable manufacturers like Philips, Motorola or Fairchild. So I'm going to throw this transistor away. Of course you can make a circuit with it and uh, it will work properly but on the longer term uh, this transistor cannot be trusted. This is my opinion of course. So when you do experiments when you make electronic circuits, always measure the beta, the HFA from your transistor and buy components from good brands. That, that's my advice to everything, to, sorry, to everyone interested in electronics. And uh, be critical. Use your uh, current amplification meter always.